Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. Today, in this video, we will see how to use USB mass storage class with or without using SD card. Let's start by creating the project in Cube IDE. I am using STM32F407ZE, give some name to the project and click finish. Here is our Cube MX. First of all, I am enabling the external crystal for the clock. Now go to USB OTGFS, and select device only. In the USB device, select the mass storage class. You can change the device descriptor here. In this first half, I am going to show how to use mass storage without SD card, and that's why I am not selecting SDIO. Go to the clock configuration now. I have 8 MHz crystal, and I want the system to run at full 168 MHz. Note that this 48 MHz clock is also selected. This is basically the clock for USB. Click save to generate the project. Open USBD storage if.c file. This is the file, where we are going to make all our changes. Let me first build this project. As you can see here, the device have 123 kilobytes of free RAM. And I am going to use this RAM as the storage. Let's start then. Change the storage block number to twice the amount of RAM that you are going to use. I want to use 100 kilobytes of this RAM. Now create a buffer which can hold this 100 kilobytes of data. Storage block size is 512, and that's make this buffer 100 kilobytes in size. Next, in the storage read function, we will copy the data from our assigned buffer into the buff. Same thing in the storage write function, but this time copying will be the other way around. Let's build and debug this code. Let's run this. As you can see, there is no external drive here. Now I will connect the USB to the SDM32. It's asking to format the disk, so let's do that. You can see here the size is 100 kilobytes. This is our mass storage disk of 100 kilobytes. We can create a file, write data, and save it. Now I will remove the USB and connect it back and you can see the file is still available. But this is not always true. Sometimes it asks me to format the disk again. I am still working on how to solve this issue. Also see here that the RAM is almost full as we are using it as mass storage. Now I will show you how to use SD card as a mass storage. 
Let's go back to the Cube MX. Leave USB configuration, and select SDIO 4-bit mode. As you can see here, these are the pins used for SDIO. This is how the pins are connected to the module. This is the timer diagram for SDM32F4. As you can see, the SDIO is connected to the APB2 clock. And the APB2 is running at 84 MHz. Now if you remembered, the USB full speed clock is 12 MHz. So we need to bring SDIO to the same range. As mentioned here, SDIOCK is equal to the SDIO clock divide by divide factor plus 2. APB clock is 84 megahertz. So we need to divide it by 7 for the SDIO to become 12. Therefore the divide factor will be 5. That's all for the setup. Now save to generate the project. Delete the USB-D storage if.c file. And copy this USB storage file at the same position. This file contains the functions needed for SD card to work. I am commenting out the RAM related functions. This function will get the size of the SD card. This will be used to read the SD card. And this one will be used to write the SD card. Let's build this. Note that the RAM is free now. Again you can see there is no external storage right now. When I connect the USB, the SD card is detected as the mass storage device. The card is 1 GB in size. These are some contents, I was testing with initially. I will copy this folder now. Let's see how much time it takes.
You can see this is only 2.3 megabytes folder. I have removed the USB connection. When connected back, you can see the files are still present. This sums up everything for this video. You can use the mass storage with or without SD card. Speed is slow right now, but I will work on it. Maybe DMA can make it a bit faster. I will update you guys, if there are any changes made in the code in future. You can download the code from the link in the description. Stay safe, and goodbye for now.